what's going on guys your boys pilot 2k7 and we're jumping into the latest update of emerge nyc that was updated on sunday uh november 13th around late in the night so i guess you call it like november 14th you guys are going to be seeing this on monday so we have a couple new updates to talk about um first thing first we have updated well not we they have updated 11 new ems vehicles and eight new police vehicles to the game so i know you guys have been asking me do police do police do em do ems all right guys it's finally in so let's go ahead and check out nypd so here we have a little scene down here. All the NYPD units are kind of staged down here. And um, uh, this would be like Times Square, you could say. So we have all the EMS units. I mean, I'm sorry, all the NYPD units. So let's go ahead and try these things out. Uh, again, this is the first time we're trying this out. You also see some of the buildings do have textures now. And if we look downtown, you see the Freedom Tower, and then we should also see the Chrysler building around here somewhere. One of them over there. So that's another update to the game, guys. We have buildings. They unlocked a couple of the textures for the building, so we could kind of do some more responding to different scenes, which should be pretty cool. Um, let me just open up the settings real quick. Uh, I don't hear audio for some reason. Not sure why. Alright, um, so anyway, this is our Crown Vic, we have an ESU truck, we have the Impala, 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, Ford Police Interceptor Sedan, Dodge Charger, and the 2013 to 2015 Interceptor there. So let's mess around with this thing here, let's see what we could do. So as you see, that turns on our traffic advisors, however we want them to be on. Um, we do have our emergency lights looking nice and sexy. All right, so that's cool. Now we can also change a couple of things. I'm gonna show you on the Crown Vic. So we could change what, uh, I guess you could say which precinct or what unit we are. So 14th precinct, we could be a supervisor, we could be highway patrol, ESU, ESU K9, keep back for the K9, CRC, critical response, or we could be unmarked. Now, if we have to be unmarked, we'd have to change our lighting. So we could go full frontal light and which add lights in here. Now, this is just gonna be a quick walkthrough. I will do a more in-depth video once I get home from work, probably later today, hopefully. So like I said, this is just gonna be like a quick walkthrough of everything. Um, you have just these lights. We also have, oops. We also have just like that. All right, so that's pretty much all the units for the NYPD Crown Vic. You can also change the light bars now. So no light bar will be a slick top unit. I just want to change this to Highway Patrol to kind of show you guys this. Uh, we have the Vector SL plus the highway bar, which would look like that. And I forgot which button raises the bar. I know we could, I think we could raise it, I don't remember. Um, then we have message board, which you could customize the message. Um, oops. I forgot how to customize it. I know in the interactive demo you could customize it. Um, I'll check that stuff out later and see. This is kind of like my first look at everything right now, just trying everything out. All right. Now these are probably my favorite lights right here, the SLRs. So we got the Vision SLR light up. And this is like the Highway Patrol light up setup that you'd see. They have the lights in the windows, lights over here. They have the lights on top, everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's turn that off. Um, Vision SL by itself. So lots of different options to mess around with. You can even take off the RAM bar if you want. If you don't want the RAM bar, if you do want the RAM bar. Um, you can change your unit numbers by clicking in there and that's pretty much it for this so let's change to the ESU unit or 
Should we take it around? Let's take it around for a quick spin. Let's try out these sirens here, so. Uh, remember what it says, this is a work in progress. There are bugs, unfinished content. They are gonna be improving this daily, so. Let's take this for a quick spin around the block. Obviously, it's a work in progress on the NYPD vehicles, but like I said, they will be working on them and they will be patching everything and fixing things up. So, I'm excited to see all the upgrades that will come out of this. So, that's pretty cool. Also, the way that it is now, when you turn on the lights on one unit, it kind of just turns on the lights on everything. That's just the way it's set up right now. Um, so that's gonna be that. Um, what else did we wanna do? I wanna press this real quick. Priority siren. Oh, that's how you change the seat button. I was wondering how you did that. That's cool. Alright, is there anything else we gotta do? I think that's it. Alright. Alright, so I'm just trying out all the different sirens. Alright, so let's go to the next unit here. Uh, let's try... I want to see that rep truck. Alright, so this is an ESU truck, so this looks pretty cool. So, um, this is for emergency service unit, obviously. I'm not sure if all of these features work yet. That's how you use a smart siren, so that's pretty cool. Now, this is a really cool truck to have in here. Um, this is pretty cool, so let's take this for a spin. I don't think we can change any of this stuff here because it should only come with... Yeah, you can't really change any of this stuff, so we're going to ignore this thing here. So. Uh, let's try to take this for a quick spin. And again, this will be like the first look of everything. So again, like I said, I will do a more in-depth video later on when I get some more time. This is just like just a first look. So next in line would be that Impala. So let's check that out. I'm gonna go change vehicle. That's gonna be this here. All right. So let's add a light bar. So we give it a Vision SLR. Now, I did remember he did say something that we had to do. I think we gotta, yeah, you gotta 
come all the way out and then go all the way back in to get the light bar to get back on the way it's supposed to be. So this is the Impala here. So this thing looks very nice. Um, so NYPD Impalas, you'll normally see them with this light bar, or you may even see them with with the um, the emergency was it uh, message board that's what I'm trying to say now just like the other units you could also change it so we have unmarked or fully marked like this now this isn't used by any specialized units just a standard patrol car so that's why there's not a lot of options for ESU and stuff like that so I started also these cars do not have first person yet but um, they should soon so let's go on a quick run again Actually, roll out. Like All right. So this should have a lot of different options because this is used by many different units. So standard PD. Uh, let's see what else we have. All right. Actually, I didn't do anything yet. All right. So this only has this right here. So again, it has a vision SLRs. Looks pretty good. Um, that's the only ones it comes with, so let me change. I want the one with the oh, it does have the ones with the high rise too, but we want the one with the message board. But it says message board, but it's showing the other one. But let's go ahead and take it for a spin. See, we have critical response, highway patrol. So, if we go highway patrol, we put on our high risers, like so. That would be our high riser setup. That looks amazing. Alright, so let's see what other units we have. We have all black, and now again, we want to use all like the unmarked ones. You can add extra lights in here by clicking additional lighting. As you can see, 
Those are additional lighting options. You can have it just on the dash, you can have it just on the top, or you can have it on both. Alright, so those are our options there. So let's try this one out. Charger, these are mostly used by highway patrol. So I would use this with a highway, or you see them unmarked highways, highway patrol as well. So since we didn't respond with anything unmarked, let's use this one. Alright, so I take this for a spin. seen either unmarked highway patrol or marked highway patrol. So that's pretty cool there. So definitely guys let me know what you guys think so far. Uh, like I said this is just like the first release of these cars so they are going to be working on this. Uh, so this is an interceptor utility. Now you see these a lot. Um, supervisors, CRC, ESU, K9. You see these a lot. You also see them unmarked sometimes too. Um, do they have a highway patrol? Yeah, highway patrol too. So you see these in a variety of different styles. Oh, I forgot the message board is inside on these. Alright, so let's take this for a spin. Oh, this is where you change it. I didn't even realize that. I can't put a long message in right now. Alright, I'm not going to worry about that. I just want to focus on showing you guys cars here.
of these textures now. This is awesome here. We may have to park our vehicles over here, actually. Yeah, we'll probably pull the rest of the cars over here. This is pretty cool. Alright, so let's uh, see what else we have over there. No, I didn't mean to reset everything. Not that it really matters, but I pressed the wrong button there. Let's uh, set everything up the way we had it. change back to our NYPD vehicles so what didn't we do we didn't do the Tahoe was that the last thing I had to do wow we did everything all right so last but not least for the NYPD fleet is gonna be the Tahoe now we have a couple options for the Tahoe so I'm gonna use it with the Vision SLR because that is my favorite all right there we go and again, the message board is inside. Uh, let's see the other options it has. So we have Highway Patrol. We have K9. Unmarked. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Let's use K9. There we go. Let's use this. Alright. So, let's put this on a run now remember you could mess around with this stuff too all right so I want to go back to where I just was at because that looked like a cool location there for NYPD vehicles. Um, let's go ahead and quickly check out the EMS vehicles now. I'm going to go change to EMS. Now, EMS has a couple of different units. So here you can see we have our standard ambulance here. Very, very nice. We have our sirens. This stuff is really necessary for NYPD. So this is our ambulance, so let's see if we could get this to our imaginary scene we set up. I don't even know where we're at right now. We'd have to go right and then down. Let's see if we can get this to our imaginary scene. I'll go left and down. Oh, that sounds perfect. Make sure I'm going the right way in here. Nope, I'm going the wrong way.
St. Luke's ambulance over there. That's pretty cool. Supervisor, this is pretty cool too. Now this is pretty much the same setup as the battalion chief. That's pretty cool. I'll turn that off. Now there are two FDNY ambulances. This is the Dodge ambulance. So let's check this out. Um. Where is that scene at now? We're here. That scene should be to our right. Alright, so let's check this Dodge ambulance out. Okay, the scene should be actually right here. I do like that EMS sign, it sounds really good. Alright, so we're gonna set this up over here as well. So this is pretty cool, guys. So we have a, the Ford ambulance and we have the Dodge ambulance, which is pretty cool to have two different types of ambulances. That is awesome. Alright, so let's see what else we have. <laughs> they call it St. Mooks. Alright, so this is St. Mooks, which is based off St. Luke's Roosevelt. That's pretty cool. Now, these ambulances are actually not even in service anymore. They repainted all of them because of a merger or whatever. So we have that. Um, this is the older style St. Luke's, which again aren't even in service, but still pretty cool that we have them in the game. New York Freemason Ambulance. <laughs> oh my god, these names are hilarious. This is um New York Presbyterian Hospital Ambulance. Now again, I will check all this stuff out a little bit more later on. I'll do like a more in-depth video of, of all of these trucks and stuff. So this would be the older version. Um, let's see, oh, there's actually three versions. This one looks pretty much the same. Alright, we have Downtown Manhattan Ambulance, which is this. So I'll probably do a video of just EMS to really focus on driving all of these for you guys, so you guys can see that. <laughs> Beth Raphael, oh my god, this is hilarious. The creator of the game is is Ralph Raphael, so that's hilarious that he, he did that. I love all the different lighting setups though. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Different patterns. See? Found something new. Alright. Oh, that's the real siren it has too. Wow. This is an even older one. Wow, so that's pretty much it for the EMS side there. So that's pretty cool. So uh, there was one more update on the NY on the FDNY side. So let me show you that last update. I think it was with Engine 30. Let's uh oh, this looks so good. Let's go inside. Yep, you can open the doors. So it's not done in all the rest of the vehicles, but we could open the doors. So. Since we could do that, let's take Engine 30 to that scene, even though they wouldn't really respond to that scene since it's kind of out of the area, but let's do it anyway. Oops. I didn't turn on the truck. Alright, not sure why I can't turn on the truck here. I 
could turn on the lights, but I can't turn on the truck. Damn, that sucks. I gotta figure that out why I can't turn the truck on. Let me try another unit. Yeah, so this one turns on fine. Alright, so that must be a bug with engine 30. Can't turn it on for whatever reason. I wanted to take it to the scene, but it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm pretty much going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys enjoyed. Oops. Let me know what you guys enjoyed the most. And I'll, again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll try to do a more in-depth review later on. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.